Okay, so we've got a. This should be a fairly strong game. So, I think I've made the mistake again, haven't I? I don't like this opening. Oh dear, night coming here. I don't like it. Okay, cool. So we could take the pawn, but then his rook comes across, and then he's got a 2 on 1 here. So we're just going to play it simple and bring the bishop through nice and steady and castle him. And again, just nice and simple, just looking to attack the bishop or x raying through. And I'm still going to, I'm going to continue with this move. Yes, x raying through. As soon as they've taken the space for me attacking the bishop. Uh, that's an interesting one. I could drop, hits me again. Then I'm allowing their pawn to get to my knight. So I'm going to bring the bishop back now. If you, well, we'll go through it at the end for what I'm kind of explaining there. Because if we'd have come here, the pawn drops down, then we come here. Then it's going to start making inroads towards our knight. And then our knight has to move. Obviously, we can take, you know, and then the pawn can take, the knight can move, etc. But we wanted to manage our squares our way. And simple capture at the minute. So this is all kind of straightforward. It's going to be wanting to hit the head of the snake. Smaller piece attack and a higher piece can't be wrong. So the rook, the knight is doing a nice job. Going to just bring the queen back, I think. Maybe touch onto the knight because the knight's saying now, well, what am I actually doing here after I've attacked this? So, oh, they're looking for the queen coming here, here, and attacking here type situation. So, if we hit the knight first and say, well, where are you actually going? Because you can't go here, your queen's blocked your way there. You can come here, but you get taken. You can go here, but you get taken. So if we take the knight, uh, either the queen takes, but where does it go from there? So I think we've won a minor piece from that position. Still playing a bit quick. Um, da, 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 so the knight could come here, move the queen off of the line because we are going to get hit with this. So maybe move the king off the line. But if we move the king off the line, the queen just comes here and puts a check on. So if the queen comes and puts the check on, the knight can't move to defend. So the queen king is going to have to move back again. Okay. So this probably isn't as bad as what I'm thinking. So maybe we need to just chill and just do the move. If we move, queen comes here with a check. King moves back. There's no checkmate that I can see. Maybe the bishop then takes, queen takes, pawn takes, but then we're still up a minor piece. Is there anything else that the bishop can do? So it comes there. Does the bishop still go here? Ooh, the bishop still goes there. Well, no, because we can take. Yeah, I think we'll just move the king, I, unless I'm totally missing something. We can just bounce backwards and forwards with the queen, well, one more. Yeah, so they are going for that, but there's no checkmate. Right, okay, so let's have a look at this now. Knight comes up. Or do we take the pawn? Gets his rook involved into this situation. If we go up and his pawn takes. Or do we just move the queen. But then he pushes the pawn down onto the queen. But then at least that's locked that down. Let's move the queen off of the x-ray. If he pushes down then we can go back again. If he takes... 
can get the knight involved to get it swinging over here. Unless he's thinking, look, let's get this rook in somehow. Sorry, get this rook down here, facing off the king. So then he can't take with the pawn. What do we do then? Get the knight up, but then he still gets here. If he goes there, then we've got four. Can we get the rook? Okay, right, that's it. Calculation over with. So it does take, and we said we were going to look to see whether or not we get the knight involved, but just on thinking now. We take, then the bishop takes, then the pawn takes. Then the queen's going to have access to the king, isn't it? So maybe this is one of those where we actually attack the bishop. I'm going to swing and attack the bishop, take it out of the equation, because it's all focused on this area. materially we're still plus one but it's not about the material here it's about the position on the board because the opponent's wanting to squish our king in my head i'm thinking it's not as bad as what it looks like we've been practicing quite a few games where it's not looked as bad as what it was Because they have a lot of potential coming towards our king. And we're trying to make give our king some company with our pieces. So it's move. So the queen could take the pawn, attacking the queen. What magic has he got? The rook gets involved and blocks it. Or the bishop comes and attacks the queen. Yeah, I think the bishop's going to come and attack the queen, isn't it? We can put a check on the king. Let's see if we can do that. Also got a 2 and one on the bishop as well, but they're going to move the bishop here. Don't really like doing nugatory checks. I mean, we do have the pawn here, but that's like pawn grabbing, and I don't think it improves my position at all. Oh, they've taken. Right, take with the knight to give my king some company. Bishop's obviously moving, may look to come here, to, but it's not doing that. Um, so it's going to, it's, the rook is in the centre of the board. So we take the bishop, the rook is in the centre of the board, so we can attack it. Be looking how somehow getting this in across around, we have time to uh, mobilize, move, well not that, sorry, move this. Do we need to panic so much about that? I mean, he's going to have to do a merry dance. Is there anything better? Attacking the pawn. So we attack the pawn, head of the snake. And just trying to give them something to think about. I mean, the rook can come and uh, defend, but we'll take an exchange off because we have more material. So the logic dictates that, well, you may as well get them off the board. Does capture. Let's see if we can get doubled. Again, we've got here fairly quickly in terms of a long play game. Um, I've not even broke the 45 minute mark, neither have they, they're on 46 minutes, so they've accrued time. So this one was a, a bit more interesting, at least I did say this was going to be a bit tough, this one. And they proved that point quite nicely. So we could take, reducing down with a check, and get a check on again. 
still have the box clever he's got two linked pawns here so if that was me i'd be going oh well they're tantamount to having like a, a rook you know an extra rook okay so it's got to be something to do with this knight i don't feel like pushing these pawns must try and get this rook off the board somehow maybe somehow dance there but he's just going to drop the pawn so i'm going to go here if he drops the pawn come back around again come up here type thing would really ideally want to get here king comes down and then get the four this one's left the game ah yeah 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 they're making me look good. I am, as you know, I mean, I just play the game.